it's amazing being part of Woodlawn because of the story, the people, what's happening. Uh, Georgia, the football team requested it. Uh, they just, I just read that 125 athletes from a different school gave their life to Christ. I mean, what a blessing to be in something that makes people think about their lives and possibly change it. Is this your first red carpet? Yes. So the rain is no big deal for you? <laughs> no. What are you looking forward to tonight? Oh, <laughs> see myself on the big screen. I am very excited to play Tony Nathan's mother, Mama Nathan, because even when I read about her and saw her, her tape, she's a bundle of energy, she's got a lot of humor, and she is very protective of her son. So awesome playing the role of Tony. I mean, what what more can you ask for? I mean, playing football, my first role of having stepped away from football in college I and mean, uh, in a big movie like this, is, you can't ask for more. Did you ever imagine in your wildest dreams that there would be a movie made after you? Uh, no, I never dreamed about that. I had no clue. Uh, I can't say yes about that one at all, not at all. So tell us how this came about. Uh, my high school coach, uh, his son, wrote a book about his father's life and uh, his uh, coaching career and him becoming a Christian. And uh, I just happened to be, the, the, I guess you could say, the center focus of uh, one of his players at that point in time. And that's how it all got started. Are you amazed at all the hoopla of basically telling your story here tonight? Very much so, because I was just trying to fade off into the sunset and just enjoy my family, but uh, good Lord had all the plans. You know, I've known your day, you since your days at the University of Alabama, and of course I followed you in the NFL as well. When I was thinking about this and seeing some of those clips today on YouTube, I'm thinking, man, you never know what a person has endured or going through while they're even on their journey. You know, people see the glory, but they don't know the story. And I'm glad that you're sharing your story. Well, thank you very much. I would just appreciate someone think enough of it to actually want to tell it. Because, uh, like they say, I was just growing up, being a kid, doing what, you, what the kid does. You know? And I was just was blessed with an opportunity to be where I was when I was there. What does this mean to you and your family? A great deal. Um, you know, I'm glad my kids get the chance to see what I actually experienced as a child when I was growing up. You know, we've all been talking about now actually sitting down after the move and having a powwow about my wife's and our experience as a child growing up, so they can know more about our background. Uh, unfortunately, we don't, we haven't talked about that before now, but this has brought that part up, so they get to know us a little better also. People have no idea what what we went through during that time. It's not like it is today where the kids come out and they get a contract out of high school. You know, it wasn't like that in the old days. We had to work at it. We had to uh, go through a lot of things, a lot of racial things that, that happened at the time. But man, we just jumped over it and kept moving. I think that's what we have to do. That's what he did. Jesus says to love our enemies. We have to love those that oppose us. If you only love those that love you back, what kind of love is that? What was it like being on the other side now as an actor? It, it was great. I really enjoyed the experience. The thing that was very different is when you're on the other side of the camera, the camera, the other, when I'm producing a film or when I was an executive and I'm sitting at the monitor, I can see everything. When you're an actor and you're on the other side of the camera, you can't see anything. So you have to really trust the director and, you know, know what they're doing because, you know, you're out there like flying without a net. So it was a great experience, but it was also scary. And how did that, how did you get the role? How did that come apart? I know the Irwins. I know the Irwins. The, the Irwin brothers are good friends of mine. I've known them for years. And one day I got an email saying, hey, you know, have you ever thought about acting? And I said, uh, no. And they were like, well, we want you to play the pastor. And I said, all right, send me this script. So they sent me the size. I took a look at it and I said, oh, I got to do it. I love the story. I love the character. Uh, it's, it's, not a, it's not a whole lot, but I'm in the movie, you know, pretty much throughout in little bits. And uh, each sermon is kind of 
are there to help remind the audience of what's going on in the story. And there's a really powerful moment where the coach of the football players comes into the church because I'm the pastor for the coach, I'm the pastor for the players, and he comes into the church looking for the same love that has changed the lives of his players. I love it and I hope the world gets the message of love and faith and that you can change the world one person at a time. Uh, this film is, uh, is going to touch on a little bit of everything, you know, from, from faith and, um, you know, racial tension, things of that nature. Was Tony Nathan one of your heroes growing up? Um, you know what, I, I really didn't know much about football. I wasn't into football growing growing up as, as a little kid. I mean, everybody played a little number, uh, a number of sports. So um, I didn't really have any, per se, football, you know, heroes. Um, but again, everybody knows the impact and the athlete that Tony Nathan was. And, and so for me, um, again, like I said, I'm just excited to, to look, watch this film and see exactly what I missed. <laughs> Why was it important for you to, 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 to film this? You know, Woodlawn is a story that, you know, being from Birmingham, Alabama, my brother and I grew up hearing this story as a bedtime story. My dad would always tell us the story of what happened with Tony Nathan and this greatest high school football game that was ever played in the Southeast. And in the midst of all that, uh, just this story of overcoming, of redemption, of what happened with the Jesus movement. And so it's a story that I've wanted to tell since I was a kid. And so as John and I, my brother and I, got into filmmaking, we did several stories before this. But this was really the story we were aiming for, that if we could ever tell Woodlawn, it would be a special moment. So you get the chance to see it, and then uh, you're going to share it with the world on October 16th. And you're celebrating the home folks, too, huh? I know. I'm bringing a little bit of the Alabama twang to the red carpet. So, uh, you know, hope they haven't kicked me off yet. So, you know, I got a little bit of the country here. Oh, I'm so proud of this movie. I'm so proud to be a part of it. I, When I read the script, my husband actually came home, and I was on the couch crying. And he said, oh, my gosh, are you okay? I said, yes. I'm just reading the most incredible script. I have like five pages left. Shut up. Don't talk to me till I finish it. And, um, and I finished it and I turned to him and I said, I am calling my agents, my manager first thing in the morning and telling them I have to be a part of this movie. I have to be a part of it. I just have never been so moved and touched by it. And um, anyway, he said, you know, what's it about? And what is it? I said, it's called Woodlawn. It's about this high school in Birmingham. He said, you've got to be kidding. You know, my mother went to Woodlawn. I said, no, there's no way. She did, so my mother-in-law actually went to Woodlawn and she was there um, during integration and I got to, to use her as a resource when I was doing my uh, research for the movie. So I think it's a phenomenal message and I'm really honored that I get to be a part of it. Of course, it's a faith-based movie. What do you think about that part of it? I'm thrilled. I'm a Christian and this is the first faith-based movie I've ever been able to be a part of. And gosh, I'm getting like emotional even thinking about it. But to be able to do something that you are truly proud of, that you don't have to... <laughs> stop and think before you even take it. Uh, is this a message I really want to send out? What, 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 what is my part in this big picture? To just know I'm, I'm honored to be a part of something that I'm, I'm really proud for this to get out there. I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen the final cut yet, so I'm so excited to just see it. I know my, um, my parents go to a really large church in Memphis, and I think they've already uh, sold out and bought an entire movie theater on opening night. They're bringing everybody and the preachers going and it's just it's it's really thrilling. Well it's exciting to be here because it's it's, it's off our off our tree as far as football history is concerned so uh, to get a chance to come here and just see something that's based off of something that you you were involved in 45 years ago is an honor and a pleasure and and to get a chance to meet the people who are part of this wonderful film is also a pleasure. Well, you've heard the interviews here from the red carpet for the movie called Woodlawn. I'm Eric J. Chambers, and this is The Cut. I can't. I mean, I play for a team that doesn't even want me. Anybody like me? I'd like to have a meeting with the football team. I've seen things all over the country. Well, you and I can see them here. Do something about this. It's not my fault, Owen. Not a coach football. He's bigger than football. What would you say if I told you it doesn't have to be this way? What would you be prepared to do? I'm asking you right now to stand up and make a decision to change, to forgive, to be forgiven. That's how much God loves you. What just happened? Look at me. I'm proud of you. 
win or lose, you must sing. The good book says, without a vision, the people perish. I say, go give it to them. How many black players you got? Not nearly enough. Why you see that change? Because it's time. You know the difference between you and these people? They're cowards. And you ain't. Nobody out there knows what's happened with this team. But when you win on this day, they will! They call him touchdown Tony Nathan. He's homegrown right in Birmingham. This is your moment. This is your time. So you go and take it. You go and take it.